brings back that uh, that candy tier list that you put on Twitter. You put, but you put Butterfinger in yep. C tier, and that you hurt me. But anyway, <laughs> uh, going into game one here, we got Stock Taker against uh, John Numbers. All right, I better stop eating this. Let's get right into the game. And of course, we're definitely going to see a lot of off stage play from uh, from John Numbers as we usually do. But it's always smart on John Numbers part because. He's setting up what he needs. He's setting up his deep breathing. He's setting up his sun salutation. So when he comes back on stage, he is a he is a fit, we fit trainer. Wait, anyhow, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I have to take a quick little, quick little, uh, quick quick, but jumping in 62 and 53 percent. Very very even game so far. Um, and right now, Numbers is just able to get a couple of extra bits of damage with that soccer ball, drifting out towards the edge of the stage, knowing that's not Wolf's domain, knowing that he can't contest him all the way back there. Uh, but really good back at from Stocksaker, just pushing him out so far. <coughs> Stocksaker being a weep it, weep it main himself knows exactly what to look out for, knowing he's got a soccer ball right here and right down and there. Good tech from Stocksaker. Oh, Ooh. but. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he had an up B on the stage, and uh, John Numbers will capitalize really on that. It's a really great sun from John. It's like every single little bit of chip healing counts. It adds up. 26% from that charge alone into Saku. Ball dash attack, 49%. John is really, really racking up the damage here. Uh, but that, was, that was a very uh, questionable up smash from John Numbers. Um, I don't think so because it's like he's a stock up. He, you know, he can. If he called that out, that would have been so so big. Oh, it definitely um, would have. I mean, do I, did, I guess he also had he also had deep breathing when he yeah. had that up smash. So it's like I'm gonna take a risk. Yep. I'm gonna take a risk while I have a stock up, but now he doesn't have but that. Stock taker getting the forward and forward, but unfortunately missing the up tilt. Uh, maybe he's at a little too much rage and dealt a little bit too much knockback. Considering Numbers was able to buffer that out, who the ne uh, the neutral will be trying to force him to go low. Really, really great use of the dash attack into up air there, and stock taker from a stock stock deficit has brought it right back to an even game. Uh, Stock Taker was expecting uh, John to come at him, so that's why he threw out the forward smash. Oh. Uh, that John Numbers, I think, tried to two frame him with that down air. But I don't think we fits. Can we fits down air two frame? I think we can. Ooh. But good for it. I mean, so. Every single move in this game can two frame, technically, can it? Yeah. Um, anyhow, right now, Stock Taker. Um, He's, he, right now, Wolf isn't really good at those high police and combos, so he's just trying to push him off and then do what Wolf does best. That's Ludge Guard. So patient, making sure that he won't be able to get hit by the sun, misspacing the back air, and not being able to get the kill. Oh, catches that, uh, that shield and forward tilt. That was a that was oh, nice. really good read on nice the air dodge. Point. Oh, he couldn't scoop him up with that up smash. Ah, uh, that was really strange from Stock Taker. Maybe he was going for some really big lead there. And the up smash, not enough to scoop it, but the back air beating out the two, uh, the down air. The Wolf's back air being one of the most important moves in the game. It's so strong, kills you so early. It's, it's a really, really lovely move. Ooh. Oh, tagged him a little bit with the little bits of uh, up beat. Back here. He's got also got to watch out because John Numbers does have a uh, sun salutation on yeah. deck, but he doesn't need it. Oh, me oh he almost had it there. He knows uh, that he was dead. Yeah, yep. unfortunately, he knew that he was just a little too far out there. Four <laughs> <laughs> Um, Okay, game two, they're going to be opting for town and city. This is an interesting choice, and I think it's interesting. Maybe we'll be seeing. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. The villager from Stock Taker. Yep. Um, I think villager does extraordinarily well against all of John's characters, being we fit and me sword fighter. So right now we're gonna be seeing a completely different momentum coming from Stock Taker, but he just landed right into the sun. That's hype. But getting the dash attack, ooh, tech chase with the forward. 
Now, I guess this is probably just me not really watching a lot of stock takers matches, but I didn't even know he had a, a villager. Oh, he was known as the villager. He, he is the villager of, um, of Tri State to some extent. Oh, well, now I'm, I, I just learned something. <laughs> really, really great drift from uh, Numbers. Uh, just drifting with that upbeat to make sure he's not going to be able to get hit by the bowling ball, which will kill you from just about any percent above 50. Quite free the pummel pummel down throw. Back air. And right oh, now, like, the pace of this game is uh, really, really different than it was, um, considering it was an entirely different matchup. It seems as though, like, <laughs> Stock Taker is the one who's, like, telling Do numbers. Do you see this now? He is actually using Lloyd to get rid of these, uh, these balls that yeah, so number is thrown at him. Trying to land on top of him, but unfortunately, Numbers was able to stuff him out. Also, and he pocketed the soccer ball, and I'm pretty sure Numbers can't do that anymore. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. It's kind of like when you pocket Link's bomb. Yeah. I'm some. Oh, oh, oh but he, he just threw it, it away, there. though. Maybe he meant to reverse it. But regardless, that gives Numbers back his option that he really so desperately wants. Again, using the Lloyd to shield himself from the soccer ball. And that's the regrab. This is so dangerous. This is so bad for Numbers. Oh, but he was Almost able to. Almost had that tree confirmed. And the f tilt just shoving Villager to the far ends of the Blast Zone. That was a really great parry, but unfortunately, Nair is indeed a multi-hitting move. Really great Nair out of shield, just pushing Star Taker away. Huh. I mean, now, now that I look at it, I can understand why Villager, I mean, uh, Star Taker went with Villager. Because he could challenge John Numbers offstage a lot better. Than he could with uh, Wolf. Yeah. Really, and he, really. underst he understands. He understands. That Woo! See what I'm talking about? Right there. Because he understands how many times John Numbers is going to just stay off stage. Yep. And he was because able to it, capitalize right as there. As Wolf, you cannot commit nearly as deep with that. But Villager can go as deep as Villager wants to. <gasps> yeah. Quickly, oh. fail, fail to dash He still has the pressure on him now. Wow, but Stock got already so much low percent stuff out of this. Really, really great for him. But right now, Numbers is looking to close out the Stock with a down air, missing the up air, not accounting for the air dodge from Stock. Carrying the Lloyd. Good patience from Numbers, just letting the, the Lloyd fly right past him. And right now, like, Stock has to punish him on the re grab. Oh, the tree didn't come up. He just jumped. He just jumped up and he didn't let the water touch the sprout. It's not barely hanging on. Wow. And of course, now numbers does have deep breathing set up. I love the use of the crowd <laughs> already in the dash attack. Yep, plenty to knock villager up into the blast. Zone. And of course, you always see what John Numbers does. He always likes to just, he just likes to do push-ups yep. to avoid the any projectile. And so, on a stage like Town and City, where you can dip into the like, uh, you can dip into the ledge so that you can avoid the bowling ball. Ooh, but the good stuff. Is. That was some good stuff in there from Stock Digger. Now, once again, Numbers with deep breathing setup. You know, Stock Ticker is doing an excellent job of slowly piling on this damage, but just as well he's doing that, Numbers is doing a great job of avoiding a lot of his projectiles. He's forcing Numbers to be the aggressor in this matchup. Knowing very well that he can't be the one camping him out, he can't be the one spacing him out. Great patience. Yeah. Hope he's gonna catch him off again with the forwarders. Ooh, almost oh. getting the hitbox extension oh, and the F smash. <laughs> wow. So potent. So like this time I'm not gonna give you uh, slick shot balls. I'm gonna give you a straight up bowling ball. <laughs> but definitely uh, Stock Taker making that character switch well worth it. And uh, I guess we're having a little bit of a break here. I think Stock Taker just got up out of his seat. Dun, John dun. Numbers just standing, sitting there, just sitting there. He's just chilling. <laughs> He's just vibing. <laughs> um. Okay, I think. Uh. A little bit of a break. Where did, where did, where did he run off to? Huh. Where's he going? He's just right there. What's he? Oh, uh, I think oh. He, he's like switching his controller. He's switching his controller out. Okay. That must have been. Maybe maybe there was just some inputs that were coming out that were yeah. necessarily up to. Yeah. Black Sheep saying from chat. Yeah, he's getting. He he looked he looked uh, really mad at the controller that. The controller I guess that he had before, or he was borrowing, but. Uh, 
Hey, you know something? You just always need to make sure your peripherals are in check. Always make sure your controls are in check, people. That's just my PSA to everybody out there. Because you don't want to be playing with a faulty, faulty controller. Uh, but we are seeing Stock Ticker going back to Wolf. Mm -hmm. um, going back to Wolf, that's an interesting stage choice. I think it's because he got counter picked in Nova. Or something like that. I genuinely have no idea. Um, regardless, my maybe he's more confident as Wolf now that he has switched his controller. That's my. That would be my guess. Yeah. My, my question is, is like I thought. I thought I heard people saying that Unova was not legal here. Anymore. No goodness, of course it is. All right, I guess those are just rumors. Anyway, um, still legal. Uh, may change soon-ish. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, because I thought I heard people saying that no, Unova is gonna be. Yeah. Out. If we if uh if we do make a change, uh, I probably will. But if we make a change, we'll announce it. So. All right, cool. Almost getting the jab lock, but slightly off on the timing of the zap smash there. Regardless, stock oh, ticker too low. low and oh. still able to get back to stage. Not sure what he was looking for there, but regardless, it doesn't matter. He is able to get back for it. Maybe the next time he won't be so lucky. Oh, now he's pushing him off with the F tilt. Uh. And the soccer ball, such <laughs> great coverage because even though it's something you're constantly going out, the one time you're not aware of it is the time that it will kill you. And definitely deep breathing, giving that ball a lot more power onto it. <gasps> right now like the way the numbers plays around ledge is really really great because that is his advantage numbers loves playing around ledge he's more, he loves baiting your options he really wants you to commit to something and then punish you for it and then possibly take your stock for it numbers with deep breathing set up once again stock taker just trying to find this back air kill and he does get it with it shield poke he pretty much just kicked he pretty much just kicked him in the back of the head this right now, numbers is piling up more and more damage. The down air was meant to lead a high recovery, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, but not able to get it off quite yet. Tech really great tech tech. and uh, the trade was in his favor. He was able to get the upbeat. Really, really great on his part, trying to two frame with the tilt there, but unfortunately not being able to connect it. And right now, he's definitely looking for something with all those short hops. Just trying to throw off numbers with all the timing. Oh, he almost had that up smash confirmed. That was a really, really great uh, retreat from Stock Ticker after he hit a shield with the forward, uh, making sure that he wouldn't. If he died, if he drifted into it, that would have definitely been it right there. Now, John just gonna keep throwing soccer balls off stage. Deep breathing setup once again. Parrying the dash attack on a punish with the forward tilt. Once again, John giving himself a chance to, to buff himself up with deep breathing. Yep. And also having a sun salutation on deck. He's gonna throw it out. Ah, and the back here, unfortunately, not being able to connect onto the goal on numbers. And it's just so fascinating how much of the set is actually being played at ledge. But the roll lead up smash, not enough to kill it quite yet. <laughs> he just threw that from deep. Shield attack. and the up smash. And Wolf's, Wolf's side of shield options are notoriously slow. That's mm. definitely the biggest fault of the character, not even his recovery, but just his inability to punish people pressing the buttons on his shield. Oh, but he's and, gonna find that up tilt, though. Yep. Right now, Stock Taker is pacing back and forth, looking to get something started with the grab or the dash attack. Definitely super, super big in that regard. Now, we really haven't seen Stock Taker try to reflect any of these projectiles away from uh, from John Numbers because he can't really find an opportunity yep. to. But when he does, it might pay off in the end. Stock Taker is taking out a very precarious 108%. Numbers is still playing so patiently, and Stock Taker committed on Oh, I think he might have just saved him there for a second. Uh, but and not that time, though. Closing it out, and I will be quickly right back. I just have to quickly run an island. I'll be back. Good right ahead, with a strong base. All right, so, but it's just yeah, this is the best out of uh, best out of five sets to anybody who's asking. All right, so going into uh, yeah, going into game four, uh, Stock Taker is gonna go back to uh, oh, 
Sanjay is going to go back to Villager, but uh, we're seeing a different palette from uh, John Numbers. He's actually opting to go for the male We Fit trailer, trainer and the red costume. I wonder if this is supposed to symbolize anything, but uh, this is definitely uh, something new to my eyes. All right, Num Numbers getting a down throw to back air. Has, some, has a deep breathing already set up, and he's definitely going to tack on a lot of damage on a stock taker with this deep breathing buff. But just as, quick, just as quickly as it comes, it quickly goes. All right. And this is also a good stage for, uh, for our numbers. He does have a lot of chances to charge up uh, some salutation, deep breathing. Just all those openings that he can find. Oh, he almost dropped the bowling ball on him. Stottinger is going to get a back air hit on him. Couldn't pocket the soccer ball. Uh, see, but this is this is the thing that he was, we were seeing in the other game that he was playing Villager. Stottinger could now challenge John Numbers off stage with forward air and back air. Oh, that was a nice little confirm there, but they didn't, couldn't get the kill there. Numbers setting up deep breathing. Good, good use of... Ah, oh, that DBC moment! <laughs> Making this very even. Yo, we just had a DBZ moment. Oh goodness. So, Stock Taker and John Numbers really, really even right now. Both of them sitting at very, very low percents. And I love what uh, John <laughs> Numbers is doing with those crouches. You might think it's a little bit stylish, but it's so functional considering you'll be able to duck under all the villagers' projectiles. Oh, he couldn't get the side B mm, He couldn't get the side, the side spike. spike. But had that been a spike, it's definitely one of the more potent spikes in the game. That could have been the stock right there, which would have been very unfortunate on the part of uh, stock taking. Ooh, really, really great deflection of the soccer ball using his own aerial. He's gonna set up a tree. Mm -hmm. Great timing of the neutral getup, just making sure that he won't be able to get hit by it. Now, Stock Taker was just using all this ledge pressure, throwing the Lloyds at the tree. Yep. And he's still keeping he's, he's still keeping John offstage. He's gonna set up another tree, it looks like. Ah, and he tried to hit him with that downbeat. And right now, ooh. This is such an even game right now. Great time for the shield, but I really want to see him start maybe pocketing those suns, especially when they're at such a large charge, because they could be very, very handy at unexpected intervals. They could be, but it looks like Stock Taker is just focusing on, uh, you know, ledge pressuring uh, John Numbers and just, and just, you know, keeping him out. Oh, but Stock Taker saw a moment there where John was trying to low profile the Lloyd, and he does get the tree. He does hit him with the tree coming up. Alright, Stock Taker throwing out more Lloyds. Numbers continuing to low profile the forward air and back air. But he does get a back air that does not kill, unfortunately, because deep breathing did end when he when he did connect that back air. And now he's gonna get deep breathing again. Uh, couldn't get the side B spike that time. And right now, a soccer Stock ball Taker out. just throwing back out the soccer ball. And right now, Stock, uh, Stock Taker is doing a really great job of coming back from this game. 158%. Really great beefy uh, spacing of the Floyd there. Narrowly avoiding that Lloyd. Whoa, Ooh. that was a really aggressive salute to Sun. It was. Unfortunately, it didn't take the stock away from Stock Taker. And right now, just about anything can kill him. You're going to see numbers maybe starting to get a little bit desperate, especially considering that he's at 100% another deep breathing and the deep breathings are doing like a great job of just like making the game a little bit easier for him but the side bees just like villager is able to protect her head oh my and the god narrow stage spike wow <laughs> that was, really really great play that was very good from uh, from uh, stock taker yep. and hopefully now i like to see stock taker still stick with villager because it has been working for him because every time he's gone back to wolf it hasn't been so maybe if uh, if Stock Taker does want to move on in winners, I'd say he sticks with Villager. Yep. Uh, because clearly, like the games that he has pulled out, Wolf hasn't worked out necessarily the best for him. Indeed. So hopefully uh, he will stick with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. But so right now, 
they're going back to PS2, and so we're definitely gonna see. Some uh, but we might be having some, uh, might be having a pro controller issue here. Uh oh. Who knows what's happening? Uh, maybe just yeah, just a controller issue yep. in general. Um, but yeah, so basically, what I've been seeing that set, it's so difficult to like make observations because both of these players are just trying to cover so many different options for one another with what uh -oh. they're throwing out. And John, John going for the last minute sword fighter. Going wow. with the last dash just effort here. Three, two, Gonna bust out the one, sword fighter. Go. Going into game five. And of course, numbers does play a zoning uh, sword fighter. But it also does give him a lot of, uh, does give, give, definitely gives Stock Taker a lot of projectiles to pocket. In return, Ooh. though, John Numbers Hailing does have a reflection. Hailing the out of shield, but also have to consider just how quick it is on your shield. So even on parry, it's not even that safe to punish. Mm -hmm. um, regardless, Stock Taker in this set, you just see him going with Nair a lot more. He's completely changed up his play. Mm -hmm. Really, really great. Up B above the ledge. And honestly, Villager pocketing a tornado is pretty big considering I'm pretty sure it can put him into the sweet spot of the Florida. That's true, yeah. He could get some combos off of that tornado. Yep, planting the tree, because it's forcing John's movement, but John able to perfectly maneuver around the tree by yeah. just going with a full hop down it. Yeah, and Villager now, now Stock Taker does have a Chakram pocketed. You're gonna be seeing him like maybe go out and up to, but I'm not even sure if it can kill. Oof. Maybe at the edge of the stage it might. Maybe it will. And, and the maybe down smash percent. into up smash. Yep, 100 percent true. Um, especially considering the up smash buffs that Villager got a few patches ago, helping the move actually con confirm into itself. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot of maybe numbers game plan actually being invalidated, considering the nature of Villager's entire kit. Ooh. It's a good thing Stock Taker didn't throw that Chakram at him, or else he would have been. That, that would have definitely easily taken his stock. But that Chakram is going to do a little bit more damage with pocketed. Right now, um, Stock Taker is just getting more and more percent despite living at such a high percent. And uh, the Sword Fighters is one of those characters that has oh. such a set game plan where, unless you commit to a really aggressive option, yeah. or you get your neutral B. You're yeah. not going to be able to get like a uh, solid kill right now. Yeah. Great let me just, out of shield. Let me just point out something real quick that uh, Stock Taker used the wind box from the watering can yeah. to push away John Numbers Chakram. Yep. That was interesting. Wait, really? Yeah. Huh. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he did. Wind box pulling. Yeah. I yeah. Guess he it's did. He, he, pushed, he pushed the Chakram away with it. Ooh, deflecting the projectile right back at him. Both of these players are just positioning themselves so well. We right now, now Stock Taker has a neutral B of his own. It will be what? <laughs> Let's go update data. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> but <sighs> I can't imagine that. I, I think that's particularly distracting to both the players. But hope, but yeah, they're still annoying. able to persevere yeah. despite the noise. It's fine. They're chilling. Um, regardless, right now, Stock Taker with a really good dash attack, but not able to follow up with the four leader. The and this barrage of projectiles is so difficult for numbers to deal with, especially oh. if he commits to the reflector at the long time. Stock Taker can easily be punished at. Oh, good nair from uh, Stock Taker. And that was just a lot of ledge pressure coming out from uh, Stock Taker. Ah, eventually, he was going to find his mark there. Oh, spiked him a little bit with that down air. Stock Taker was still able to air dodge back onto stage. Right now he has a pocketed shotgun, I believe. Yes, he, uh, yes, he does. Ooh, uh -oh. and that is not going to be it. It knocked him up a little bit too high. Nah, but John is going to catch his landing there. It brought it to an even game. This is Mike. super, super intense. This is crazy. Like, how many how many even game fives are we going to get in last lock situations? <laughs> Man, what a night. Down tilt to forward air, and then another forward air using the platform to extend the combo. Oh, right, he just hit the Chakram away and with the forward again, air. Again, he used the balloon to maybe extend or mix up the timing of the, uh, of the tornado. Really, really great use of the multi jab there, just knocking John off stage. Setting up the tree. tree. Just like preventing a lot of his uh, momentum and movement. Mm -hmm. Right now, Stock Taker 
pushing him out. He doesn't want John to get anything started on him. And now John just trying to zone him out with the chakra. Stock ticket trying to do the same thing with the Lloyd, but it gets reflected back. And right now, like, you can see that the dynamic of the set has shifted to is he going to reflect my stuff or is he going to shield it? And that's what makes this set really kind of unpredictable at times. It's almost a 50-50 in a lot of situations. But Stock not getting to fully have his tree come out and getting interrupted halfway with the folder. Mm -hmm. I guess some of the graph, back throw on stage. Still gonna set up more. Let's trap. Really great drift from John because even though he hasn't thrown out the F smash in quite a while, he still remembers to drift out. And the tree is gonna be so difficult to work around. Oh, but he's gonna get him with a down tilt. Yes, wow. he will. Really unexpected option. Yeah, very unexpected there, but it did wonders for uh, Stock Taker. Stock Taker will move on. Whew. Wow, Stock Taker was, I think this was winner semis? This was winner semis. Wait, we had three winner semis final. Uh, three so, winner semis sets? Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure entirely Definitely what's happening. Two. If we go take two? a look at or bracket. Only possible to have two. I was about to say. So yeah, winner finals is going to be.